Hey guys, it is a yucky rainy day outside. As you can see, you might hear some thunder and things in the background, but um, it's just kind of one of those days where it's yucky outside and I'm not feeling good because of the rain and getting back into Kentucky. I have a horrible headache, but I thought I'd make a video and um, we just got back and tell you guys a little bit about what we've been doing. Um, we just got back from Niagara Falls and a couple other places. So we had an exciting week last week. I hear kids yelling. <laughs> Ammon! Anyway, um, we went on a seven day road trip. We went from Kentucky to four hours away to Kirkland, Ohio, which is a church history place for us. We are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints or Mormon, um, however you remember it. But we went there first and then we went up to Niagara Falls. See? And then we went to um, Palmyra, New York, which is another church history site, a couple of sites for us. And then um, we had a two-day family reunion for Brandon's side of the family in Bath, New York. So, um, yeah, then we drove all the way home in one fell swoop down. I made a couple of videos that I've been posting. I'm going to keep posting those that I just got some little snippet, snippets of every day that we were gone just to kind of show what the family went through and those types of things, um, show how we road trip. And let's see, some of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about today is some tips and tricks I learned along this trip. Um, number one, make sure you have a charger for every piece of tech that you have. Um, and make sure that you also have a car charger for all of the tech that will be used in the car. We don't have a video player or anything in our Flex, which is what we drove. And so all of the kids had their phones with a data plan and um, we made sure that we had a pair of headphones for each kid and a pair of, um, no, headphones and a charger for each kid. And they were right next to them. And I bought these little buckets that could hang up on the um, hand rest. There's a little hook on each one. And so I went to Dollar Tree and I got a different colored bucket for each kid. They were only about this big and they could keep their charger and their earbuds and all of those things that they need, a snack or two. I'm gonna have to deal with the kids, they're screaming right there above their head. Um, secondly, I would suggest doing um, wireless headphones. We had those as well, because when they want to charge their phone on an eight hour trip, they can't put their earbuds into where they charge if they have an iPhone. So that was frustrating. And our kids right now, I mean, a couple of the kids were obsessed with watching Captain Underpants and it drove me nuts the whole ride home. So that had to get turned off. I don't really like that show anyway. Um, another tip is to color code everything. Uh, each kid had their own colored backpack and their own colored water cup and their own colored smoothie cup and uh, as much of the color code as I could get because it was easy. We did laundry twice, um, yeah, while we were gone. So we did it on our fourth day. The hotel we were at had a laundry and we did laundry there because we only took four days worth of clothes. And then right before we came home, we did laundry again so that when I got home, I didn't have to do, you know, 10 loads of laundry. And that was good because I'm tired. I know after trips with my lupus and everything, I get really, really tired. I usually get sick, so I need a day or two to recuperate. So it was nice, even though it was a little bit expensive, but it was nice to have that laundry done when we got home. Um, we Another tip is to have two sets of swimmies. One, for, uh, one is wet and um, they swim in it, and then the next day you have a dry set of swimmies if you have the packing space. Kids are going nuts today. Another thing I learned that I did not do this time, which I totally forgot, um, 
if you have something small that's toy or hand busy type stuff, like um, I usually take a large Ziploc bag that's about half full of Legos. I didn't do that this time and I really regret it because it would have given them something to do um, as we drove. The kids love Legos and they usually don't get dumped around the car, but they build little things and it keeps them busy. Hunter, come here. That's not very nice. Do you need a hug? Exactly. Mason, Come Mason's sit with me. Like, I'm not playing this game and you don't play with me and he got I'm this making a book. video. Oh, please don't. It's got this out. Take, I... it, take a breath. Come here. Sit by me. Come here. I don't want to be. It's I'm okay. Here. It's this is too. life. This is life. We're having a rough moment. I still don't want to Okay, so let me see if I can finish this video. <laughs> There's all kinds of drama in our house all the time. So um, a really big tip that I like to, that we learned years and years and years and years ago is that right before you go on a trip, find time to go to your public library. Get some audio books and um, a book that y'all can read together in the evening to get them off of the TV and their tech. And, um, but make sure that you get an audiobook that the family can listen to on the way. And that's where having the Legos or something that they can do with their hands, like drawing or coloring, so that you can put the audiobook on and then they can color and draw or do Legos with their hands and um, it occupies them and cuts down on some of the fighting. So I'm gonna stop there because kids are still fighting in my house. They, Hunter wants people to play with him on Roblox and everybody else is playing a different game. So it's a lot of drama. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Make sure you're watching the videos of our trip so that you can see some of the things that we did together as a family. Bye. Take a breath. It's okay to be upset, but it's not okay to yell at people. Okay? Mason, Mason just... He won't play this game because he says, I won't play it until you, you play with me. Well, then don't play with him. <laughs> but I want him to join me. Okay, now listen. Relax for a few minutes. And Aaron's upset.